Part 1 Directions In Part 1 of the test, you will be shown six photographs and hear four statements about each photograph. The statements will be marked A, B, C and D. All statements will be spoken only once and not written down. For each photograph, choose the statement that accurately describes what can be seen in the photograph. Look at a sample photograph. Listen to the four statements. A. The ship is very modern. B. Passengers are boarding the ship. C. Palm trees are planted along the waterfront. D. People are having a party on a boat. Statement C. Palm trees are planted along the waterfront. Is the most accurate description of what can be seen in the photograph. Therefore, you should mark your answer choice C. This part will now start with question 1. Select your answers as you listen. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 in your test book. A. Several passengers are getting off the train. B. The subway has arrived at the station. C. Tickets are being sold to passengers. D. There are no seats available in any of the cars. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. The seated people are all facing the same direction. B. The outdoor dining area at the cafe is completely full. C. One man is walking in front of the seated individuals. D. Waiters are bringing plates of food to the diners. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. A lecture is being given in a boardroom. B. The woman has gotten up from the chair. C. A diagram is being drawn on the board by the woman. D. Some documents have been placed on the table. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. Customers are trying on some new shirts in the store. B. A large number of shirts are being displayed on hangers. C. The clothes are currently on sale for low prices. D. A picture is hanging from the wall above the clothes. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. There are several sheep in the field. B. One of the ships is sailing beneath the bridge. C. People are getting on board the ship. D. Pedestrians are walking alongside the waterway. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. Several participants in the meeting appear to be bored. B. All of the chairs have been pushed under the table. C. A computer has been placed in the center of the table. D. The decision to hold the meeting has been tabled. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Number 7. How much longer do you need on this project? A. About 10 pages long. B. Roughly half an hour. C. In my office soon. Number 8. Why hasn't anyone responded to that complaint? A. That's the response she gave us. B. Yes, it looks a bit plain to me. C. I thought Ted already handled it. Number 9. 
Do you want me to see if the item is still in stock? A. I would appreciate that a lot. B. I don't have stock in that company. C. This is the item that I purchased. Number 10. The picnic has been postponed until next week, hasn't it? A. Sometime last Friday. B. That's what I heard. C. I'm going to the picnic. Number 11. You'd better be on your best behavior at the meeting. A. He's behaving properly. B. That's the best product. C. I promise to do that. Number 12. Nobody can remember Miss Carlyle's phone number, right? A. You should ask Jane for it. B. She called a while ago. C. No, I'm not on the phone. Number 13. Where is the nearest gas station in this neighborhood? A. I'll fill up the car later today. B. We're in the cold water neighborhood. C. There's one right down the street. Number 14. What time should we expect Ms. Carter to arrive? A. On Monday or Tuesday. B. Sometime after 6. C. Around 40 minutes ago. Number 15. I believe you ought to see a doctor about that cough. A. That's what my husband said. B. He's been coughing all day. C. No, I don't want any coffee. Number 16. Who should we send on the business trip to Tokyo? A. About two weeks from now. B. To negotiate a new contract. C. How about Mark or Anna? Number 17. Can you give me directions to the Wishbone Cafe? A. Yes, this is the map you asked for. B. You'll love the selection of teas there. C. Sorry, but I've never heard of it. Number 18. Which of these three proposals are we thinking of accepting? A. Yes, there are three of them. B. Probably the second one. C. We will accept the offer tomorrow. Number 19. Will Martin conduct the interviews or is John doing them? A. Actually, Peter will be doing them. B. Martin and John are co workers. C. Yes, that's correct. Number 20. There appears to be a problem with your car's engine. A. Thanks for fixing it for me. B. What exactly is wrong with it? C. How much do I owe you for it? Number 21. I can't recall where Ms. Hamilton's office is located. A. She's in Mr. Wilkins' office now. B. It's in the building by the Sultan Theater. C. No, I haven't located her yet. Number 22. The agenda for the staff meeting is already settled, isn't it? A. Not to the best of my knowledge. B. Yes, Jeff is a member of the staff here. C. I settled the problem this morning. Number 23. How often does the subway come to this station? A. Five or six times an hour. B. On the number three line. C. Go out exit number nine. Number 24. Would you prefer taking the train or flying to the conference? A. Yes, that's a good idea. B. We flew there last week. C. Either is fine with me.
Number 25. Did you remember to turn off the lights before you left? A. Yes, I remember what they look like. B. Oh, no, I totally forgot. C. No, I haven't left the office yet. Number 26. The interviews won't begin until this Friday, will they? A. I believe that's correct. B. Fred's going to interview then. C. Friday's a busy day for her. Number 27. Would you mind picking up a sandwich from the deli for me? A. They are delighted to see you. B. Sure, I can share my lunch with you. C. Not at all. What would you like? Number 28. I suggest calling the customer service hotline immediately. A. Yes, you can borrow my telephone. B. I'm expecting to get good service. C. Do you know the telephone number? Number 29. What do I need to do to open a new bank account here? A. I need two forms of picture ID. B. Fill out this form to withdraw money. C. At the First National Bank branch. Number 30. Shouldn't we reserve a car for our trip to Los Angeles? A. No, I haven't reserved a car yet. B. We could just take public transportation. C. On the morning of the 30th. Number 31. We need to get in touch with the caterer regarding the event. A. I'll instruct Miss Johnson to do that. B. Please be sure not to touch it. C. I catered several meals in the past. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Mr. Sanders. This is Julie Maple calling. I contacted you by email this morning about a condo I'd like to look at. Do you have time to show me the place today? I sure do, Miss Maple. You mentioned you'd prefer to check it out around 3 30. Is that time still satisfactory for you? Oh, no, it isn't. I've got a meeting scheduled at 4, so I'd like to see the place around 2 instead. That should give me plenty of time to check out the property. Fortunately, I've got time then, so I can comply with your request. Why don't we meet at 52 Jackson Avenue at that time? Number 32. Who most likely is the man? Number 33. What does the woman want to do? Number 34. When are the speakers going to meet? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. I'm pleased we finally completed the interviews with the job candidates. I had no idea they were going to take nearly the entire day. I know what you mean. I was on the intern search committee last year, and the interviews only required about half the time that this year's did. So, which of the applicants did you like the most? I thought Sarah Carpenter was impressive and believe we should strongly consider her for a position. She's definitely one of the leading candidates in my mind. We'll have to be sure to invite her back to conduct a second interview. Number 35. What are the speakers discussing? Number 36. What does the woman say about last year's activities? Number 37. 
Number 37. What is the man's opinion of Sarah Carpenter? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Lara, how is the work on the redesign of the Fargo building progressing? Do you think that you're going to be able to finish everything by tomorrow's deadline? I'm afraid not, Mr. Ito. The work is taking much longer than I expected it to. However, I've started making good progress, so I am positive that I can submit the blueprints to you no later than noon on Friday. All right, I'll call the client now and request an extension. But you had better finish everything by the new due date. The client is eager to get a look at the plans, and I don't want to disappoint them. Number 38. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 39. Where most likely do the speakers work? Number 40. What does the woman mention about her work? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Did you happen to read the news about promotions on the bulletin board? The list was just posted a few minutes ago. I can't believe Alice Milton got promoted to director. You've got to be kidding me. I heard she was probably going to get transferred to another branch or maybe even fired. Do you mean she's going to be our boss now? That's right. According to what I read, her promotion won't go into effect for another month, though. I'm considering making a request to transfer to another office. Number 41. What is being discussed? Number 42. What do the speakers say about Alice Milton? Number 43. How does the man feel? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Good morning. What can I assist you with today, sir? I'd like to open a checking account. How can I go about doing that? It's a very simple process. First, you have to fill out this form here, and then you need to show me two forms of identification. Should both of them be picture IDs? I've only got my driver's license with me. One has to have a picture, but the other can be something such as a library card. Would you happen to have a bill with your name and address on it as well? Yes, I do. Here's my most recent electricity bill. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, let me complete the form right now. Number 44. Where does the conversation take place? Number 45. What kind of identification does the woman suggest? Number 46. What does the man give the woman? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Did you attend last night's award ceremony? I had planned to go, but I needed to work late to complete the budget reports for tomorrow's meeting. That's a shame. It was the most surprising event I've attended in my five years here. You can say that again. I heard about it from Steve Burgess in the IT department. He dropped by this morning to inform me about what happened. Can you believe Andrew Simmons won the Employee of the Year award? I was positive Emily Hargraves was going to be the winner. What did Andrew do to deserve it? There's a rumor going around that he just landed a multi million dollar contract. There hasn't been an official announcement, though. If that's true, that would explain everything. Number 47. Why does the man say, You can say that again? Number 48. Why are the speakers surprised?
Number 49. What does the woman say about Andrew Simmons? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Good evening. I wonder if you can give me some assistance. I'll do my best, sir. What do you require help with? I received this shirt as a birthday present yesterday, but it's not really my style. Would it be possible to exchange it for something else? You didn't take it out of the original plastic wrapping, right? Yeah, that's correct. But because it was a gift, I don't have the receipt. I'm really sorry about that. That's perfectly all right. We handle requests like this on occasion, and since I know that the shirt was sold here, I'm permitted to let you exchange it for something else costing the same price or lower. That's great news. Can you show me where the men's shirts are, please? Number 50. Why is the man asking for assistance? Number 51. Why does the man dislike the item? Number 52. What will the speakers probably do next? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. I'm nervous about the new boss we're getting tomorrow. Have either of you met him? I had lunch with Dave Thompson last week. What was your impression of him? Yeah, what was he like? Do you think he'll make a good boss? It's hard to tell. How come? He didn't say much at all. There were four of us dining together, but he mostly sat quietly and listened to us talk. I heard he's planning to restructure the department and that there might be layoffs. I hope your news is wrong, but I'm afraid you're right. Still, none of us has been performing up to expectations lately, so it makes sense that he's coming here to shake things up. And that's why all of us are worried. Number 53. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 54. What does the woman mean when she says, It's hard to tell. Number 55. What are the speakers concerned about? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon. Is this the number I should call regarding subscriptions to the Daily Herald? That's correct, sir. Are you interested in subscribing to the paper? Actually, I already get the newspaper delivered to my home each day, but my subscription is about to expire and I'd like to renew it. My name is Charles Anderson. OK. a y Are you the Charles Anderson living at 58 Oak Street? That's right. I'd like to receive the paper for six more months, please. No problem, Mr. Anderson. You know, we're running a special offer this month only. If you renew for one year, it will cost the same as it would if you paid for eight months. Are you interested? That's a pretty good deal. How about signing me up for it, please? Number 56. Why does the man call the woman? Number 57. Why does the woman say the man's address? Number 58. What does the woman tell the man about? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Do you know why the shipment from Dyson Manufacturing has failed to arrive yet? I called Mr. Sykes this morning and he explained the problem to me. Yes? Apparently, there was a bad snowstorm in Montana last week, so no trucks were able to leave the factory for three days. Did he indicate when our shipment is going to make it here? He informed me that he spoke with the driver and that we can expect it first thing tomorrow morning. That's a relief. Without the items in that delivery, we will have to shut down the assembly lines. Would you mind calling him back to confirm when the products are arriving? Not at all. I can give him a call once I return to my office. Number 
What is the problem? Number 60. Why does the woman say, That's a relief. Number 61. What does the woman request that the man do? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. I've considered all the proposals, but I can't make up my mind. Which vendor should we hire? I'm in favor of selecting the Powell Corporation. Why? It has a proven track record of providing outstanding customer support. If anything goes wrong, Powell will handle it immediately. That's a strong endorsement. Have you worked with Powell before? Not personally. However, I know people who have, and they're unanimous in praising the company's dedication to service. Well, I think we should go with the BYR company. Its prices are the lowest, and we have financial constraints to worry about. Hmm, you're right about that. Let me think about everything for a while. I'll inform you of my choice by 5 p.m. Number 62. What is being discussed? Number 63. What does the man say about the Powell Corporation? Number 64. What will happen at 5 p.m.? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and advertisement. Excuse me, I'm looking to buy a blender. The top of the line model is this one here by Nelson Electronics. However, unless you're employed as a cook, you probably don't need it. It's also a bit pricey. I intend to use it a couple of times each week, so it doesn't need to be anything special. In that case, I recommend this one. It's our best-selling blender. It looks fine, and the price isn't too bad either. Just so you know, we've got a special sale going on at the moment. Depending upon how much money you spend, you can get anywhere between 5 and 20% off. Sounds great. So how much of a discount will I get for buying this one? You'll receive an extra 15% off. Excellent. Number 65. What does the woman indicate about the blender by Nelson Electronics? Number 66. How often will the man use his blender? Number 67. Look at the graphic. How much will the man spend on the item? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and schedule. What a great speech that Dr. Apu just gave. I'm glad I decided to attend it at the last moment. I fully agree with you. His discussion on those new medical procedures was quite instructive. So, uh, what are you planning to do next? I'm attending the speech by Dr. Archer. He's a world-renowned expert on vaccinations. That doesn't appeal to me very much. Instead, I'm going to the lecture being given by Dr. Probst. I took a class with him at med school, so it will be nice to see him again. All right. They both finish at the same time, so how about meeting here at 1.30 and having lunch when the talks are over? Good thinking. I'll see you in a while. Number 68. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 69. Look at the graphic. Which room will the woman be in? Number 70. What does the man suggest about Dr. Probst? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker.
You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following talk. Before we close this meeting, there's one more thing I'd like to cover. I'm well aware of the problems at the Dayton factory. A team of inspectors was sent there to look at the problems this morning, so none of you needs to worry about that anymore since we're handling the issue. I would, however, like to thank all of you who reported the problems to me. Your observations may have helped us avoid a catastrophe, and that's something I'd like to remind everyone to do. When you see something wrong, let a supervisor know immediately. That's how we can prevent small issues from transforming into major problems. Number 71. Where most likely does the talk take place? Number 72. What does the speaker say about the Dayton facility? Number 73. What does the speaker tell the listeners to do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Mr. Russell. This is Mandy Jenkins from Winston's. I'd like you to know that your laptop has been repaired, so you can come here to pick it up any time we're open. We'll be closing our doors at 8.30 tonight and reopening them at 9 tomorrow morning. By the way, the problem with your computer wasn't as severe as we had initially feared. We didn't have to replace the hard drive. Instead, we just reinstalled some software and that cleared the problem right up, so you'll only be charged $50 for the work we did. Number 74. What does the speaker ask Mr. Russell to do? Number 75. What time will Winston's open tomorrow? Number 76. According to the speaker, how was the problem solved? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following advertisement. Now that the renovations on Fred's Diner are complete, we are once again ready to open our doors to the public. With more than 500 square feet of space added, we can fit more customers than ever before. That means you won't have to wait long to get a table. This weekend only, we're having a special sale to celebrate our reopening. Order one entree, and you can get a second one of equal or lesser value for free. Come down to 76 Dansby Avenue and check us out. You won't regret it. Number 77. What is the restaurant celebrating? Number 78. When is the restaurant having a sale? Number 79. What can customers get during the sale period? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. May I have your attention, please? It looks like the snow has been cleaned off the runway, so planes are being cleared for takeoff. We're fifth in line, so we've got a few minutes before it's our turn. In the meantime, would everyone please be sure your seat belts are buckled and your baggage is stowed properly? Once we get airborne, we'll rise quickly to get above these storm clouds. After that, I expect to make up for lost time. We should have constant tailwinds the entire trip, which should help us make the flight to Moscow faster than normal. Number 80. What caused the delay? Number 81. What does the speaker ask the passengers to do? Number 82. 
No.82. u m b e What does the speaker mean when he says, After that, I expect to make up for lost time? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following traffic report. Good evening, listeners. This is Kate Charles at the WTRO News Desk with a breaking news report for you. The East Bay Bridge has been closed to traffic. About 20 minutes ago, the bridge was struck by a barge passing beneath it. There are apparently cracks in one of the bridge's columns, so no vehicles or pedestrians are being allowed on it. Motorists are being redirected to other bridges in the city. This has understandably created serious traffic issues throughout the city. I'll keep you updated as soon as anything new comes across my desk. And now back to Earl Jenkins with today's sports news. Number 83. What happened to the bridge? Number 84. What does the speaker indicate about traffic? Number 85. What will listeners hear next? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. I'm really proud of the way everybody in this room contributed to the conference we held here last weekend. Thanks to your efforts, it was a complete success. We had more than 250 people attend the conference. And the feedback we've received thus far has been unanimous. The attendees felt that the event was educational and well worth their time. As an added bonus, more than 30 of them registered for the seminar we're holding next month. So it's time for us to initiate our preparations for that event. How about taking a look at the handouts in front of you? Number 86. What is the main purpose of the talk? Number 87. What did the attendees mention about the event? Number 88. What will the speaker most likely do next? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. I'd like to provide an update regarding the branch openings in Europe and Asia. Our stores in Europe are attracting large numbers of customers. They're performing according to our expectations. In fact, due to the revenue they're bringing in, we're considering opening several more stores on the continent later this year. On the other hand, our sales in Asia are much lower than we had hoped. We're not sure what's wrong, since our products are popular in many Asian countries. On Monday, we hired an advertisement agency with expertise in Asian markets to improve our image there. Number 89. What is the speaker mainly discussing? Number 90. What does the speaker mean when she says, They're performing according to our expectations? Number 91. What did the company do this week? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following telephone message and price list. Good morning, Mr. Jackson. This is Cynthia Watson from the Two Towers Resort. We received your email regarding your desire to book a double room with us. Unfortunately, the weekend you intend to stay with us is extremely busy because we're hosting a conference. As of this moment, there's only one room available to reserve. It's a junior suite, so it will cost a bit more than the room you requested. If you're interested in booking this room, please contact me as quickly as you can at 692 5768. I doubt this room will remain available for much longer. Number 92. Why did the speaker call Mr. Jackson? Number 93. Look at the graphic. 
How much more for a room must Mr. Jackson pay? Number 94. Why does the speaker tell Mr. Jackson to call her back? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk and map. Welcome to the Museum of National History. My name's Peter, and I'll be showing you some of the exhibits here today. First, I'd like to tell you about something that isn't covered on the tour. This morning, we opened a new exhibit featuring numerous items more than 300 years old. This exhibit provides a fascinating glimpse at life in colonial times, and you'll be sure to love it. It's in the west wing of the museum. You can purchase tickets for it at the booth beside the museum's front doors. Now let's get started. If you'll look straight behind me, you can see the first exhibit. Number 95. What is the man's job? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Where can visitors buy tickets to the special exhibit? Number 97. What will the speaker do next? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and graph. All right, let's get this meeting started. Today we received the figures from the first quarter, and they're somewhat worse than we had expected. So I'm going to discuss each type of item we sell. Starting with the worst selling one first. However, before I do that, I'd like to introduce our newest employee to you. Her name is Sheila Roberts, and she's an assistant manager in the marketing department. Today is Sheila's first day on the job, so I imagine this is the first time most of you are meeting her. Sheila, how about standing up and taking a couple of moments to introduce yourself, please? Number 98. Look at the graphic. What product will the speaker talk about first? Number 99. Who is Sheila Roberts? Number 100. What will probably happen next? Thank、you